What's up guys and welcome back to WBC Builds and welcome to week 3 of the weekly build challenge. So to anyone that's just joining for the first time or to people that need a recap, this is how this video works. Each week I ask you guys to recreate a scene, a building, whatever I show you on this video. Now once you've recreated that you head on over to our Discord, you go to the share your build section and you post it in there with the tagline I was challenged to build this. Simple. Each week after that I go through on the Tuesday night before filming this video, have a look through and go right that looks really nice that one looks good and that one looks good there and I choose the top three and I showcase them at the end of each week's video so this week I'm going to stick around to the end so you guys can see what I chose from last week which was the Rangers house also known as Bridgerton house so this week's one is straight out of the drafting office from a 19th century's planning room so it's a Victorian villa complete with a lovely little greenhouse on the side this is all we have from it this is from the uh, Reba website which is the Royal Institute of British Architects and I believe it wasn't built. I don't know, I can't read any of the text on it very well so I don't know where it is or what it is. So yeah, it is definitely quite a difficult one but I do hope you guys have a bit of fun giving it a go. I know what I did because I've got a time lapse coming up in just a second to show you how I did that. Now if you guys have any requests for next time please let me know in the comments below. I would love to let uh, have a go at building some stuff you guys suggest. But without further ado, let's jump on over into that time lapse. Okay, so no points for actually guessing what the color palette is for this. I'm going to go for a nice brick and sandstone mix, which is my go to for any sort of Victorian house, especially of this era. But I've gone from the bottom around the base. I'm using some jungle planks to help bring it a bit more of a polychromatic look. So that's how these Victorian builds go. So I'm working on the left hand bay first because I always work from the left hand corner out. And this bay is probably the hardest one to get right, mainly because the roof on it. It may look like a mansard roof, but it's not. It definitely sort of suits this style quite nicely. And for the roof, I've actually gone for using polished blackstone bricks, which is what I use a lot for whenever a Victorian build has a sort of dark roof to it. Working on the right hand side bay now, it's got a gabled end. Uh, I think in the image, it looks like it's flush up against the building, but I've gone for actually showing it protruding out a little bit just to help with the dimensions of this house. So I did go for having it as a two block wide center before, then I changed it up to a one so I can get that spike in the top and it actually helped with the dimensions altogether. Now putting little sort of lines around this build is quite interesting to do. I've done some inset, I've done some full blocks, I've done some slabs. I thought that looked quite nice. So just to come around now and add the little greenhouse to the side, this was quite difficult to do. I couldn't really get the right sort of shape, so I went for a nice sort of cantilevered uh, lean-to one, which I thought looked all right. So now it's time to put it into a nice little landscape, as I always do with these builds. And actually, as I did last week with my uh, ranger's house, I placed this one in Whiteburg City again, uh, hoping that one day I'll be able to add more to this town as well. So there we go, guys. That's my rendition of this lovely Victorian villa. I can't wait to see what you guys have done with yours. Now let's go into a little showcase as we talk about what happened with it. So I really liked how this one turned out, especially in this landscape with all of these trees around here. I don't know about you, but whenever you go around England, any city that was built in a sort of Victorian period, you always see these sorts of villas sitting on tree lined roads. And that's what I want to go for here. Now, later on in this sort of weekly build challenge, I may introduce the idea that you guys build a building and then the best one from that week gets to place it in Whiteburg City itself. We'll come around to actually sort of formalizing that later on in the year, but I think that's a great way to get you guys working together with me. Even if you aren't a builder on the server, you can still put your builds onto the server. Speaking of builds, it's now time to get into the top three from last week. So the Ranger's house was really quite a hard one. And I've noticed out of all of them, three guys actually popped out the best were MS Builds. Now his was slightly scaled up a little bit larger, but it's nothing unnatural for this style. It actually looks really, really good. I like the choice of blocks. I like the way you've done it. Then we had the Onion Sasquatch. He has been working on this for quite a few days. He wanted to get the Rose Garden in as well, and I think this is a perfect rendition of it, so well done there. And then we have Bryn as well, one of our newest builders to the server. His rendition was quite nice, the way he used the orange sandstone there. So there we go, guys. That has been this week's build challenge. I can't wait to see loads of these houses appear over in Discord. And like I said, leave risk, uh, sort of suggestions below on what you'd like to see for the following weeks, but also over in our Discord in the from bricks to blocks section so guys thank you for watching and remember get inspired get building and i'll see you next week